The Silver Sands wasn't designed as a hotel, it was designed as a destination on its own. The idea was not to create just a hotel or a resort, but to try and put Grenada on the map. Together with the client, we decided that this place needed to move forward in terms of development and tourism. With this, we've uh, decided straight away to work with a contemporary interpretation of tropical architecture rather than copy and paste the usual resort that we have in the Caribbean islands. We uh, try to make it a symbol of what could be a new way of welcoming people in the touristic environment. So the project organizes itself around the pool with again this lush vegetation coming directly from the island and with the building working together to create a very uh, quiet and serene environment. We have designed a Silver Sands as a bioclimatic uh, building. The idea is to take advantage of the natural breeze to keep the circulation outdoor and to emphasize the indoor-outdoor feeling. So we have reduced the indoor area as much as we could. Most of the areas are naturally ventilated and we are producing our part of our energy with solar panels that we have installed on top of the parking shelter. Because we didn't want to uh, pop up from the, the island, we wanted to remain very low rise. So we have designed the villas at the seafront as a very flat uh, volume in order to make it really, really low and to allow for view from the back. But also the intent is that from the sea, you don't feel that something new has been built. So everything is matching together and it's recessed in the hill. So the ambitions were very high and I think the result matches the ambition. With in the end, a project which is, has become a symbol of what um, tourism should be in Grenada.